Views expressed by Casters Guild members are only the opinions of that member, and that could change from day to day. Guild members may use mature language, but that in no way means they are mature. Listener discretion is advised. The world is veiled in darkness. The wind stops. The sea is wild, and the earth begins to rot. The people wait, their only hope, a prophecy. When the world is in darkness, four warriors will come. After a long journey, four warriors of light arrive, ready to talk about some of their favorite games before the world is lost to darkness. And that's the spell we're casting tonight on Caster's Guild. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of Caster's Guild. I'm your guild master, Rick Perry, and Black Mage of the Caster's Guild. And I am Baron Black Knight Kane. And joining us tonight are two guild members. Feel free to introduce yourselves. Hi, I'm Tiffany, and uh, I want to ride my chocobo all day. Wow, <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Hi, I'm Leo, and uh, I'm here to, you know, just give you guys support. That was that was my job. You guys are supposed to do all the talking. <laughs> so wait, oh, no, I got the, the the Black Knight's name was Kane, wasn't it? Yes. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, that they, that just worked out for you, didn't it? It did. How uncanny! <laughs> I got I got a lot of blank looks, and I didn't know if that was because it was just the a dad joke level joke, or <laughs> I, I got it wrong. So I had to, I had to clarify. <laughs> So, uh, in, in case you haven't guessed, we're here to talk about Final Fantasy and all of its games and offshoots. and uh... all, all of the Final Fantasies. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll start so... in order, starting with number one. <laughs> start, well, actually, normally we start with what's your favorite, but before we go into that, I do have to, yeah, to do a little bit of trivia here. Um, well, so... As long as we're making the joke that there are so many final fantasies, I have to bring up the fact that the game was intended to be the final fantasy when the Get first out. one came out. Get so out. this this small game company, uh, Squaresoft, uh, was failing hard. They had one more chance to make a game. They yep. decided to make a small little game called Final Fantasy. And it just sold so well, it saved their company. And now we have all of these games. So, they made like, a good like four or five attempts before that, didn't they? Oh, yeah. They, they, they were tanking hard on all their games oh, yeah. that came out before that. Yeah. And, and let, let, me, let me point out how well that game had to have done to take a failing company and completely save it. Oh, yeah. They, they were convinced that oh, they yeah. weren't making any more games. They were this like, this is the last time. If they didn't do it this time, they were fucked. Yeah. <laughs> so, let's start away. We usually start in what is your favorite Final Fantasy? Seven, by far. You want to expand Eight. on that at all? Or... <laughs> uh, it's just like the general gameplay, the storyline. I mean, it, there were so many like little hidden gems here and there before it got too like complicated and intricate. Like with like ten and like uh, beyond that, it's like you really have to like go online and like figure out what you're doing. Whereas seven, you can go through and find everything on your first try, as long as you know like you know how the game plays. Like, eh, I mean, if you don't if you don't look up how to get Yuffie or Vincent your first time through, like you can lose. Whoa. <laughs> But I, I mean, understand what point, you're saying. Like, Vincent, yeah. Yuffie, I mean, if you actually go around and level up like you're supposed to in those games, like, you're going to find Yuffie eventually, and you're going to have to go through the process of trying to get her. Vincent, yeah, on the if, other hand, definitely, yeah, you have to look that up. Like, it's not Yuffie, really, like, you, part of the storyline. If you choose the wrong dialogue option yeah. when you talk to Yuffie, she'll steal all your shit, and you'll never see her again. Uh -huh. So... <laughs> And say I, I've I've had to approach her a few times, and each time yeah, she steals your shit. But you can come back and you can get her again. Like it depends on which one you choose. But there is a dialogue yeah. option where you'll never see her again. Yeah, she just takes but, all uh, your just runs. She takes all your materia. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What a jerk. She is. Tiffany, <laughs> I love her so much. Good old Wu Tai. <laughs> <laughs> I think seven is the most popular. Like a lot of people 
no seven. Like when you think of Final Fantasy, most people think, oh, seven. Yeah. Um, but, but eight is absolutely my favorite. I absolutely love eight. It was actually the first one I played, which is probably why I have such a strong attachment to it. But I, I can play that one over and over and over, and I have, and I pretty much have memorized it. Good old Leon. Uh, yes. I, yeah. Leon and Qual. <laughs> <laughs> I will say this that um Squall. And, His name is Squall. This is Squall. This is not a uh Leon and Squall. <laughs> you were saying Baron? Oh, uh sorry. This is not a Oh, oh, this is not an insult in the least. But I'm noticing that like the people who are like Final Fantasy is like My seven and up, right? Mm hmm Those are like the people that are like Doctor Who is David Tennant and up. Or not David Tennant, Chris Eccleston, and up. Like, that's oh. just where it started for them. And again, that's not an insult at all, because Chris Eccleston was awesome. Final mm -hmm. Fantasy VII was awesome. But it was just, you can definitely tell that there's two distinct schools of people when it comes to, well, actually, three now. Oh, uh, yeah. There, yeah, there's yeah. three distinct schools. Because there are people that haven't played the actual Final Fantasy, they've only played online. Like... Right, right, mm -hmm. right. Yeah, it's like, that's, that's all it is to some people. And, and like, you know, some people are like, hey, you want to play some Final Fantasy? I'm like, oh, uh, I mean, I can, sure. I mean, take turns. Is that what you want to do? <laughs> <laughs> That's what they're I like, think. Like, <laughs> they're like, no, you're supposed to come join my server. Right. S server? What uh -huh. is it? Server. <laughs> <laughs> what city is that? Where do I? Where? where? <laughs> where? <laughs> so um, I guess for my favorite, I'm going to go. I, I want to say the first one, because the first one, in my mind, is was perfect. Mm -hmm. it had, it, it, I, I can see why it completely saved a company, especially at, at that time period. But I think, I think I'm going to go with Final Fantasy IV. That was a really good one. Which, which I okay. want to point out. Can we say American... Four or Japanese four? Whichever one this wiki article is telling me. Okay. <laughs> I think it I think it's the, the the Japanese four. Okay. Um but it's the one with uh Kane Highwind. Okay, the, the, yeah, the, I think that's Japanese. Guy. That's actual four, okay, I believe, yeah. Which I think is funny because I I loved that storyline with Kane Highwind, but I also related to it because you know it's my last name. Then I'm looking at this wiki article just to verify if it was the Japanese four or the American four. Come to find out, this motherfucker is from a place called Baron. <laughs> <laughs> so you're Baron Kane, and he's Kane of Baron. Yeah, yeah. So is, is yeah. that Baron Japanese Baron or Baron American? Uh, yeah, that's a good question. <laughs> Oh, I think I was kind of a jerk to even ask. I don't think four was ever released. I don't think there was a four in America. No, I, I, th oh, I think yeah. I'm pretty sure it went one and two, and then six got released as three in America, and then America never got a four, five. a five, or a six. I, I, you know, I don't Look, know. All I know is I played I this up. game in America. Mm -hmm. I don't know what number it was. Mm -hmm. I thought it was. I thought it was three or four. But I, don't I know that there's a Sid in every Final Fantasy game. Like, there's oh, always yeah, Sid. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yes. they kept that name to the entire series, and I do love that. Like, having a like, repeating character, whether they're the same character or not, like, it's still nice to have that recognizable name and, like, so like kind of keep it. Sid and Seven was definitely the best, though. You could actually play with them. Yeah, that, that's why he's the there best. Was, uh, yeah. <laughs> there's always that one's Sid. There's always a side character. And there's almost always the Star Wars reference of Wigs and Wedge. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Who's your favorite Sid? I, th I think we all just agreed it was seven. Oh, I know. I said I seven. Didn't I didn't like Sid in seven. seven. I liked fifteen Sid. It was actually a chick. Um, yeah. She was she was scantily clad, but she was kind of a mm. badass. Scantily is 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 an it, understatement. Well, True, uh, but, um, but she definitely didn't take any shit from anybody, and she was a mechanic. No, like she she was yes. the best. Yeah, she was a badass. I loved it. She was a like, they, they woman. put a different spin on it, but you yes. still had the character in there. It was just a different character. Like they always had the character mm -hmm. in there. They just change it from game to game. 
Like, and I love that aspect of it. Like, they always have at least that one aspect in each game. Like, and it, it kind of, it's almost like a namesake. Like, oh. I will uh, just kind of finish off this round. I will say my favorite Final Fantasy is uh, six. All right. Okay, that's well, that's Japanese right. six, or is that American? No, no one has that's anything. That, that's Japanese six because <laughs> America <laughs> didn't get a six. I was just fine. so it had an excellent job system. Um, what well, yeah, no. <laughs> I'm the, sorry. The yeah, I was like nine's job system, like the like the sphere grid. Mm -hmm. I liked that. The villain was great. Six was like the first one where your decisions like truly affected the story. Like you could mm -hmm. actually like fuck shit up. Um, yeah. There was a great big time skip in it where like everything you did in the first half affected the second half. Ooh. Just. Oh. Oh yeah. Um, I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. I said that out loud. It was in my head, but it came out of my mouth. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. So you That's just why they found fancy tactics because they finally brought in like the job system back. Like, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Final Fantasy Tactics was way more fun than it should have been. I agree. Mm -hmm. That was a fun one. I mean, I, I think I worded that correctly too because it's like if you were to tell me the concept of that game, I'd be like, "That is dumb." No. <laughs> right? No, no. Well, hard pass. Yeah. Hard pass. But actually, uh, playing it was a lot more fun than it seemed it would have been. I was like, I don't. Uh, yeah. Oh, but I think it's actually the job more enjoyable. System. <laughs> like, it's yeah. the job system completely. Yes. I actually, I actually felt like I was playing a role playing game, like D and D mm -hmm. and shit. Yes, thank you. Like that's why I loved it. I was like, this is like, they need to bring this back into the newer games. And they brought out like um Brave Exeus, where they kind of have mm -hmm. a job system, but mm -hmm. it's not quite there. Like, right. It, and it's good for a mobile game, but it's just not all the way there. Yeah. At least on my opinion. I will say the uh, the newest Square Enix game for the Nintendo Switch, Octopath Traveler, while it doesn't necessarily have a job system, I thought it did it feels like an old like an old school RPG. Like it feels like something you'd find on the Super Nintendo or the PlayStation One. And you've got eight different stories to play through and you get to choose the order that you play it through. And I think they did a really good job. I think it it's almost uh, an homage to those earlier Final Fantasies. Even the look of it. Like, it's it's a newer, modern look, but it still has the old feel. <laughs> Looking at it. I think that's one of the only Final Fantasies I haven't played yet. Like, uh, I don't have a Switch, so. It's technically not a Final Fantasy. It's just made by the same people. But, you well, know, it's... It's got that feel of it, though. Yeah, close enough. I'll have, to, I mean, I'll have to look that up. I haven't, I haven't explored my Switch very much at all. So if I could, well, that's a very you... dangerous thing to be waving around. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, he's I not. Not. Right. Hold, I haven't done it yet. hold on, hold on. Do no not spoilers. describe what I was swinging around. No, mm -mm. no, we're gonna leave I'm it just like night. that. Oh, oh. 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 It. oh. or was it? Oh! <laughs> if it's not a knife, it's a little too skinny and shiny. So that's just a matter of opinion. <laughs> we don't we don't shame point, around here. Point. Uh, All so, knives are good knives. Off topic. <laughs> right, there, right there. So Baron, uh, yeah. since you haven't looked into your Switch much, and anyone who is listening, Octopath Traveler has a very long demo available for free on the Nintendo Switch that you can just download. You can play through like the beginning of like two of the character stories. Like it's it's a good half hour to an hour of gameplay, depending on how thorough you want to be about it. So you could definitely check it out for free. That, that was actually uh, my yearbook description. Did check it out for free for an hour? No, the half hour of gameplay. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Sorry, I'm trying something new out. <laughs> Eventually, um, these days when you get a switch, <laughs> it's 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 a really fun little system. I'm not even gonna lie. I mean, right. the option of being able to you know pick it up and play somewhere else, and then even hooking it up to your TV to play like a regular system. It's, I, it's, I, it's, I, what? <laughs> yeah. And if you are a Final Fantasy fan, all the classic Final Fantasies are available for download on the Nintendo Switch. Hot damn! Mm -hmm. What about Crisis Core? I loved Crisis Core. So did it, made I. Me, it made me cry. I loved it. Me too. Like I was yeah. like, holy shit! Like this is really, it's really good. I, I really and I it. loved, I loved Zach more than Cloud. Yes, I'm, and Eric is I, always. Been, yes, 
Aerith was my favorite character. Like, in those storyline between the two of them, it was just, it was very heartbreaking. I loved they it. They were meant. That, like, yes. I'm so glad Aerith did not end up with Cloud. And Tifa's my yes. favorite, but ugh, she got Cloud. Um, no. Sephiroth's story... my favorite, but still. Like... The story well, yes. of Aerith War was awesome. Yes. As a game, it was okay. But the story I... made it a good game. Yeah. Like, yeah. I can forget I the gameplay like the as long as the story is good. Yeah, like yeah. the battle controls were pretty fun. Like it was, it, it required more thought process, but it wasn't too intricate to where you couldn't do it without like, you know, overthinking. Like it, it was simple, but still extravagant to where it was fun, but not overcomplicated. Little, right, too, much, just... little too much RNG for my tastes. Um, I like, I like, if I'm playing an RPG, especially, I am a number cruncher to the core. And okay. I want to know exactly how much damage I'm doing versus the enemy's defense, which knows exactly how much damage they're taking and exactly how many attacks it's going to take them to go down. So I know before I even finish my third swing that they're going to go down and I can start heading toward that next enemy. Yeah, so yeah, scan is four. Scan. Just scan them. Yeah, it doesn't work. Yeah. <laughs> because but even then, you have to scan RNG. everyone before you do it. Because, like, it's just, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and there's way too much RNG because, like, you'll do one attack and do this much damage and then like the very next time you do that same attack it does an entirely different amount of damage so so it's... just do what i do and grind until you do max damage every time <laughs> then you know what i do yep i just grind yeah. constantly, constantly like if i go into an area and i literally have to like try more than like two or three times to do something i'm just like okay i'll go back grind a little bit and then come back and be like okay fine and just let them out demolished yep same yep. I'm more the type to analyze and come back with a better tactic. So, like, I'm I'm the one who casts haste and casts slow and knows this enemy is weak to this type of damage, so I'm going to do this type of damage, and I'm going to change out the weapons and the accessories, and I yeah. don't like the look I'm getting from there. <laughs> I mean, it takes too I'll long. do that for, like, certain bosses, but, like, for regular enemies, that's too much, no. that's too much work. Like, it's not worth it. Just come out with more power and wipe them out with just basic attacks, and then use all your good shit for the bosses. Yes. I'm, uh, yes, that's what I do. Yes, it's it's yes. efficient, is what it is. It is uh, efficient. I don't, I don't, I don't spend. It, it, <laughs> no, it's no, 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 no. mentally exhausting, grinding, not time. Grinding. What we do is time consuming. But that's what fine. I do is mentally exhausting. <laughs> what I do is very efficient, not time consuming at all. But like, it's mentally because, exhausting because you have to literally do all the assets think. at the same time. Whereas what we do is we just grind and just overpower them. And then we use the tactics with little things on bosses. Yes. Much easier. So it's more like time that. consuming, but just that might, a lot that less might be mentally you, exhausting. For a fact, Tiffany doesn't even use tactics on the bosses. She will wait oh. until she's 30 levels above that boss and then go fight that boss. Which well, is when you're high level, you get 99 and the boss is level 100, then you really can't get higher than them. So at that point, you need tactics. Look, I'm pretty sure in the Art of War, it says, and I am only saying verbatim, when facing off against an enemy, it is best to do so at least 30 levels above him. See? Thank you. <laughs> Thank yep. you. Yeah, that, that it's is a, that it's a valid quote. It's a valid tactic. Oh, is that, is that a direct quote? I wasn't sure. I, yeah, I was... yeah, you got it. You got it. That was not yeah, pretty good. Yep. Yep. On. I'm yeah. pretty sure. Yeah. You see, but like what happens is when Tiffany reaches that boss that she can't over level for, that's when she hands the controller to me and makes me do the tactics. <laughs> After I've already tried. Like, I'll read up on it and scan it and throw some stuff at it. <laughs> I'll, I might use a GF here and there. Look, my, my theory is if a fireball isn't going to do it, haste isn't going to do it either. So I don't, you know. <laughs> I usually mean, start with lightning, and if lightning isn't fast enough, then haste sure as hell is going to do shit. Mm -hmm. my, my, level, my level of tactic ends when I look at a monster that came out of the water, and I know that it takes lightning. That's it. That's what I'm done. That's just yeah. elemental. Okay. I mean, that's yeah. basic that's, yeah. for most games. Yeah. yeah. Final Fantasy yep. have a tendency to switch it up between games, though. It's just like, why are you adding extra elements? Like, what is this for? What is what, darkness? Darkness. darkness. Yeah, and then they'll, they'll change what elements are weak to between games too, which is like, what, mm -hmm. what, what do you, what do you mean? Water's not weak to lightning. What? <laughs> water and electricity. 
no. I've always been a no. <laughs> See, now you use the gasoline element. And what? The what? The gasoline on the wood element. <laughs> you have to use those together to be able to take out lightning. That mm -hmm. doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Sometimes if you mix the two. You might cause a fire. <laughs> <laughs> And in some games, if you mix the two, you create a phoenix down. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. Final Fantasy's always been known for its vast crafting system. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I couldn't even. Final Fantasy XIV. <laughs> oh. God. It wasn't advanced, but they had a crafting system. That's true. It's true. <laughs> I have friends it was who are very simple and basic, 14. but it was there. I have, I have friends who are still playing 14. I, I tried. I tried on both the PC and the PlayStation 4, and I just... I couldn't get I, into it. Yeah, see, games that are made for PC, playing on P PS4, not a good idea. I tried, I tried it both ways, though. I tried it both ways. I tried being a uh, an archer, and I tried being a summoner, and just... I, I couldn't get there. I, I also tried it, and it didn't feel like a Final Fantasy game to me. Ne Speaking of which, neither did 13. 13 did not feel like a Final Fantasy game to me, which is why I'm a fourth was... of the way through it and have stopped. Um, have you guys ever played Final Fantasy Type Zero? I own it. I have you not have played it. it. It's Fantasy like hard what? game. Type Zero. Oh, Type Zero. Mm -hmm. I hated it. Is that the one <laughs> where there's really... dead chocobos? Yeah, Tiffany never really yeah, liked no. it because uh, a chocobo no. died in the trailer. Yes, no, won't do it. Like no, I never no. disliked the Final Fantasy game until I played that one. I was like, I fucking hate this. Like it is literally just a filler for nothing. And I'm like, what? There's no. They're all based on cards. Like it, it's just a deck of cards playing Final Fantasy. It's like that's not what this is. Uh, Kingdom but Hearts did it, no. and it was semi-successful. So Final Fantasy went, okay, we'll do that now. Well, they had a card-based version of Kingdom Hearts. This was like they were all based on the actual playing cards. Like there was an ace, there was a two, there was a three, four, all the way up to king. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. there was literally a deck of playing cards playing Final Fantasy, and it's just like yeah. that's my that, that, that's not acceptable. Uh, oh, like no, with dead chocobos, no, no, and yeah, no. no. Ooh. Mm -mm, mm -mm. An no, un an undead chocobo. Chocobos are amazing. awesome. That would be awesome, but it has to die first, which is right. Not no, fun. no, that's not okay. okay. So the chocobo dies look, of natural causes, and look, then you raise it. Look, I will drown a chocobo in a bucket of water just to get a nice zombie one. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna head out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come back! We have moogles. <laughs> moogles, you say? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I like moogles. Oh, no. That's why I like mine like a lot. Do you like Moogles? Yes. Don't do it. <laughs> You're so mean. You're I think that's why I like Nine so much, is Nine has a lot of Moogles in it. Like, all your save points are little Moogles. Like, and it was adorable yeah. as hell. Like, I loved Look, it. I'm not going to lie. Mm. I fucking loved Nine. I loved it. I know a lot of people hated it. And it was very silly. But I loved it. That it got back to that fantasy element. Yes. It was fun. Yeah, it was I definitely a fun, fun one. And I'm sorry, Tiffany, but I prefer nine more than eight. Like, I just, I, the magic drawing in eight really just pissed me off. Like, the storyline is great. Like, I love the story. I love the, the cinematics of it. It's just how you get your magic having to draw it from enemies and then, like, you have to attach it to your, um, like, strength and all that. If you use your magic, you're literally getting rid of your strength at the same time. It's just, like, I didn't like that, like, double edged sword of magic. Like, that was my only drawback from it. Double, well, like, you're... nine, where, like, each magic you got, you got from your weapon. Once you train that weapon and got enough experience point, which I love grinding, so I had no problem with that, like, and voila. Well, you are it's... entitled to your wrong opinion. Um, also, yeah. there, was... <laughs> <laughs> there, there was an auto-junction in uh, Final Fantasy VIII that you, it just did it for you. Like, it made it the most powerful for you. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Uh, okay. Well, yes, they had auto junction. <laughs> but at the same point, like if you auto junction, like say you auto junction Faraga to your strength, you use Faraga on a boss, your strength is going to go down each time you use your magic. Like that's what I was talking about. Like once you have okay. that magic junction, each time you use it, unless you draw another one from the whatever you're facing, you're losing strength on that magic. Like that's the only backlash that I didn't like. 
Yeah, here's the thing. Okay, I can see that. Magic. No, I don't. So I'm not a magic user. I'll use Just recover. Like, <laughs> in, like I life and I don't understand yeah, what I'm I was a magic explaining. User, that's why I was very like. Mm -hmm. I don't think you understand what I was explaining. Or Tiffany will grind until she's thirty levels above anything she's gonna encounter, and then she just presses attack over and over. Again. Oh, see, no, I I'm one of the people who like I get thirty level above. I'm just like, okay, well, uh, multicast the saga, gone. <laughs> like one spell, and all of them are gone. Like I will if I have to. I didn't like it. Like that's the only reason I didn't like it. Other than that, I, it's a great game. I just I didn't like the, how you got your magic having to draw it. Like, and if you didn't draw from every single enemy, you miss some of your summons too. You do. Like, that is true. And I didn't let or not sorry GF sorry. Yes, GF. But, and that one's Guardian yeah, Forces. Guardian Forces. Yep. <laughs> I did like how they got, leveled up the Guardian Forces, and you can teach them like different abilities and stuff. That was awesome. But like mm -hmm. how you have to actually get your magic through like and you can lose your pink. abilities because like i'm a magic cat yeah. like i love being a mage and like that was my biggest withdrawal other than that it was a great game like yeah i will admit that the draw system it, it, it's silly you have to literally go around just finding draw these little pink bubble things yeah but um, on ps4 would, yeah. it's a lot easier because like you can like speed up the game like three times and you're just whoop, 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 and you're good like so <laughs> very true I also like the the boost aspect on the GFs in Final Fantasy VIII. That yes. that was that was kind of cool. That was different. Yeah, you have to press a button until it's at a certain point. And you're like, oh, and if you keep pressing it, you lose it, and then you, you have to, fail. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Yep. <laughs> that was a fun little boost. <laughs> uh, eight did a lot of that uh, contextual button presses, including yeah. every time you attack with Squall, if you press the button at just Trigger. the right time. Yeah. yeah even um. Yeah, Leon Bezukin. Squall. <laughs> Leon was the other one. Sorry, my bad. Leon was the name that they gave him in Kingdom Hearts. Yes. Yeah. His name is Squall Lionheart. Yes. <laughs> or Leonheart. That's why I keep, I, so I keep saying Leon because it's like it's, they gave him Leon and I'm like, I keep him this to you. Sorry. I also I, I only I played it up. like twice and I literally just started playing it again so I can actually try to finish it this time. I uh, I only time. brought it up at the top because I know it. I know it pisses Tiffany off. That seems oh. to be a trend on these uh, podcasts. What, what can we say to piss Tiffany off today? Today, the cast reveals to piss off Tiffany. Just wait until we have our entire episode on Queen of the Damned. Ah! <laughs> That'd be fun. Did you not tell her we were doing that? Uh, well, I was gonna keep leave it a surprise, you know. Oh, okay. I quit. I'm leaving the guild. <laughs> Tiffany has left the guild. She's, she's going to start her own guild. We're going to have, then we're going to have guild wars, and then we're going to have an episode on guild wars. Oh. <laughs> You're welcome. Drama in casters guild. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we've been spending a lot, awful lot of time on eight. Let's uh, let's go towards some of the modern side of things um so 15 was cool it was boy bands on boy band on a road trip but like yeah. <laughs> i i exactly really liked was. a lot of the uh the dlc that came out of 15 which was like oh. the first time we really got dlc from a non-mmo final fantasy don't they cook food in it too or something they do there's a lot mm -hmm. of recipes you can do Damn, and there's a, whole, there's a whole wait. i said i'm in <laughs> oh yeah and it looks really good, too, because you can actually see them do it. Um, but yeah, I, I actually platinum that game. Well, I platinum the base game. I have not done a lot of the DLC to it, but it, it's a really fun game. Again, that one made me cry. Uh, I get really invested. But it was, it was a good one. At the end? Yeah. Oh, I yeah, should probably finish like it. Like the very, very end. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you should. Like, I was really about to say something, but I'm glad. How short the game was, and I was like, what? It's already... Oh, fuck. <laughs> eh, okay, fine. And Where like, nope, are you? Later. Where are you in the game? I was at the very end. Is I just never old? finished it. Is he old now? Well, not old, yeah. but older. He's, yeah, and... yeah, Like, I just never finished it. Yeah, you should. It gets really dark. Like, really dark. I noticed it, and I was like, hey, this is interesting, <laughs> but also it's the end, and I'm like... Ugh. <laughs> But you can go back and play stuff. Like most of the other trophies I got were after the gameplay. Okay. 
So you can still but go back I'm to the afraid of, because, like, some of the games you can't just, like, go back and play, but, like, most of them you can, but, like, there's a couple where you're just like, eh, this is the end, and you have to start from your last save point. Like, I'm just like, eh. Mm-mm. No, it, no, you don't see him as him being old. It goes back to when there's the boy band era. Oh, okay. Yeah, so keep going. Keep going. You can go back. I'll read down later. Uh, yeah. As I was saying, the DLC for it, once, if you finish it, you can go ahead and play the DLC. And each DLC dives into a different one of the characters' stories. And you play okay. as each one of the different characters as your main character. And as you play as each one of the different characters, it completely changes the gameplay mechanics. Okay. Like, um, hmm. Tiffany is no good at shooters. Uh-uh. So... When it came to Prompto's DLC, the entire DLC is a shooter. You pick up different guns and you play it as a shooter. And so she had me play through that DLC for her. And it was a ton of fun. I gotta say. And like, I do like that each one of those characters gets like entirely new gameplay mechanics and entirely new way to play the game for their DLCs. Was Prompto the cook or the cameraman? He's the the cameraman. cameraman. Yeah, I like Prompto. Like that's what yeah. I thought. Like the other, the cook was. Um, I can't remember. It wasn't Gladius or Noctis. Neither. Oh, yeah, Gladius is the big boy. And then Prompto, and then. Oh, what's his name? Was the it not Igneous cook? or Igneal or? Igneous. Yeah. yeah. Igneous. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 It's interesting to learn their backstories because it tell it shows you how they become part of Noctis's crew. Yeah. So it, it's that's, it's pretty cool to learn who and what they are. That's also what I liked about Final Fantasy 15 as well. Is they came out with like the the Kingsglaive movies and stuff like that, which were really cool, like background to like the story of where it started. Like I really like that as well. But like it, it, it it was it was good. Yeah, and it's beautiful. Like the game is yeah. beautiful. It is. Like the graphics are amazing. I just feel like they spent too much time on the graphics and the gameplay and not enough on the storyline. Like it, I just feel like it's very short for a Final Fantasy game. I made it long because I'm also the type of person that will do every single quest. I mean, and every you, single yeah, quest. Yeah, when you platinum long. something, it makes it a lot longer. But at the same point, yeah. like, the story on itself is very short. Like, unless you do all the side missions, all of the hunts, like, yes. it's a very short game. Like, There's one trophy. If you just go for that one trophy, it'll double the length of the game easily. Oh, my God, did it. <laughs> and that's uh, that's killing that turtle. The oh, the animal voice? Oh, yeah, I killed him. It, it took me about an hour and a half just sitting there attacking yeah, the turtle. Yeah, it took about an hour, yeah. Yeah. But the thing is, he doesn't attack back. I think he, he chomped at me, like, twice. <laughs> He's so big, like, I you just focus on his legs and you're fine. Like, yeah. never attack his face and you'll be good. Yeah. It, like, I just sat there and hit the button. Then, but... Yeah, I just, I just clicked the button and just sat there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, like, I, I had it set up to where, like, I had, uh like, pretty much infinite, like, mana transport so like i could just like constantly attack him and not have to worry about it and it's like boop, 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 boop. And i just took out his legs yeah that, that's a good way to do it too yeah <laughs> but i got it i killed him i and like it's the car a, it's the only uh final fantasy game to have a vr add-on huh. yes mm-hmm. because you can play final fantasy monsters of the deep and it's the fishing game except in vr Oh. Which is fun. I, I've played it I a few like the times. I fishing aspect in that one. Like, yes, it was I better love... than the other fishing in the any of them. Like, I think there was there any ones that had fishing in it. No. But of the games I played that had fishing in them, that like for RPGs, like this was definitely one of the more fun ones. Like it was, was not so, like basic and like you throw it and it's just there. It's like you have to actually do a little bit. Like mm-hmm. you have to fish. <laughs> yeah, you actually had to fish yeah. exactly. <laughs> I assume you did not play 15, Baron. I haven't played anything after X2. Oh, jeez. Is it because you played X2 and it ruined it everything for you? <laughs> Is that why? You know what? I'm not going to say no. I'm not going yeah. to say no. 10-2 wasn't we, great. We can talk about some 10-2, because I was disappointed. <laughs> I'm like... 10 caught a lot of flack. Like, a lot of people said 10 wasn't good, but 10, I thought, was great. Get the fuck out of here. 10 was great. That's what I'm saying. Great. 10 I was better 10 than 10-2. And then 10-2 came out, and it's like, what What are you doing? Waka. Just for Waka. Yes, Waka and Lulu. I love the dynamic of Waka and Lulu. Okay, yes, the dynamic, but, I mean, 
Also, you know who did the voice of Waka? No. Fucking Alan Tudyk? Was it Alan Tudyk? It wasn't. <laughs> it was it was Jake the dog. Oh. Oh, from uh, Adventure Time. Mm-hmm. I did not know that. That makes I sense. I can't remember his his name. I want to I want to do this guy credit here. Yeah, yeah. I like 10 10 was okay. 10 was not my favorite. I thought the the Yuna and Titus thing or Titus was a uh, little too chummy. John DiMaggio. John DiMaggio. He's good. But I love Lulu. Like she's one of my favorites. I love She is Lulu. my favorite. Yeah, I love her. I never understood uh, how her and, her and Waka got together, but they made a cute ass baby. Yes, they hey, were a cute couple. If there's anything I've learned from being a geek for so long, is that the geek always ends up with the goth girl. So, <laughs> I mean, like Final Fantasy got it right is all I'm saying. Yeah, they gave the awkward ginger goth girl. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. And uh, I happen to really enjoy Blitzball, which I know yeah. Blitz is another thing that, that was fun. Happened. But I really enjoyed Blitzball. As long as you actually put work into Blitzball, it was fun and easy. But you actually had to talk to people. You had to recruit for your team. You had to, you know, level up your players and actually, you know, yeah. play the game. I wouldn't, you, be, I wouldn't be mad if they did a whole game just on Blitzball. Oh, yeah. That would be pretty badass. Work into it, the recruitment of the, of the people and, like, maybe even get a manager so your team can get money, so you can buy different uniforms different equipment oh, yeah. uh, and then you could move up to like the playoffs and sports Where, final yeah. fantasy sports oh okay <laughs> oh Sex, shit right? yeah <laughs> so as long as we're talking about this final fantasy 10 is not the only game that has a side mini game that could be a game unto oh, itself God. so what is your favorite final fantasy side game that should be its own game the cards the card game from eight <laughs> Gwen. Yep. I love the card game. In fact, it. But nine. Yeah. Yep. Oh, I mean, I already told you. So. Yeah. <laughs> you just described Blitzball in great detail. Yep. I, I mean, I, I think I'm I'm gonna have to stick with Blitzball as well. I mean, I just had way too much fun playing Blitzball. I didn't enjoy playing Blitzball, but I can see why others did. Like that just wasn't. I wasn't interested in it, but I, I know it was a really important part of that game um it, for me it wasn't just blitzball if it was just blitzball mm-hmm. i wouldn't have liked it but it was the recruiting yep. and the actual management of your team that was just like oh this is its own role-playing game mm-hmm. and i and i loved it i loved that aspect of it the main reason i played blitzball was to get the jack shot mm-hmm. oh that yeah yeah because uh, yeah it was the only way to make it better but yeah but but that's a, that was great that they worked that into that too. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's like, oh, you know what? We have this side game that you could have fun in, but eh, you don't have to. And then one guy's like, oh, but what if? If you do, yeah. you get rewarded. It's like a lot of the Ultima weapons and a lot of the Final Fantasies. Like, like you, there is zero reason for you to have to go get the Ultima weapons. Like, you don't have to get a single one, and they're not always easy. But if you do, you're rewarded for it. Like sure. especially in the in ten. I was about to say, especially in ten. I believe to get <laughs> Riku's you had to go into fuck. and to get Riku's, I believe you had to go into the Thunder Plains and dodge nine. Two hundred lightning bolts. Oh, was it two hundred? Two hundred yeah. lightning bolts. Yeah. It's ridiculous. I was like, holy crap. <laughs> they make you work for it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there are a couple that were easy, like Titus's was pretty fucking simple. Like, it's like, oh, complete the game, you get his fucking shit. Like, or the other ones, you had to actually do things and go and actually work for it. It's just like, oh, it's part of the game. Like, that's. I thought, I thought Orange really cool. was really cool because, like, his, like, the sword has its own story. And, like, you, like, found out, like, the history of the sword as you went yeah. from place to place. I, I also loved, like, Orange's character in that game, too. Like, yeah. He was a great character. <laughs> yeah, he was a great character. Yeah. But the whole fact that he actually was, like, he died, like, a whole long time ago, but he, like, stayed in existence to, like, meet him with his father, and it's just, like, it was kind of touching at the same point, like... Definitely. That was a good, that was a good background story for him, too. Yeah. That's why, like, 10 uh... came out, and I was just like, okay, what are they going to do with this? Uh... And... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, it was... 
fun, but like it, I, I didn't really follow the storyline. I mostly just like played around with their like costumes. <laughs> I think Ten Two was definitely geared more toward the female um, game players. Oh yeah. And you could tell. Um, <laughs> let's change out their outfits. Let's be this girly girl squad. And I played it. I beat it just because I'm I'm kind of a completionist when I play games. But the thing that got me is I loved Pain. I absolutely adored yes. Pain, especially in the can beginning. We, she we, was this. Uh, hold on. This is the thing about Final Fantasy. We're not talking about kinks right now. P A I N E. Oh, oh. Yeah, the other pain. That yeah. pain. That's what we we're totally what I was talking about. Not as big pain. The second kind anyway, of pain. Anyway, the other pain. Yeah, that pain. We'll talk more about the other stuff later. Anyway, so uh. stay tuned. Um, different podcast. Different podcast. <laughs> Oh, that's like that that's the <laughs> that she is starting now that she's leaving our guild. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That'll oh. be my podcast. There we go. Can I be a dual guild member? <laughs> Absolutely, as long as you agree with everything that I say. <laughs> so anyway, the pain from Final Fantasy X-2. Um, in the beginning, she was this badass. She was like, Ugh, fine, let's just go do stuff. Fine, fine, I'll follow you girls. And then toward You're the end, me, they I'm have this little... Exactly. And then toward the end, they're all like, yeah, group high five. And she does the whole, yeah. And I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> Why? But it was so painful for her to say it. She's like, oh, yeah. Oh, that hurt. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's just, they, they sucked her in, man. They sucked her in. <laughs> Turned her. <laughs> um, I, I guess uh, since we did bring up X2, I will say this as, uh, as a male who was raised as a traditional young man in, in America, X2 did something that was, it was probably my first experience with it. And that was, it made me question gender roles. It, uh, because I'm playing yeah. this game, playing this game, and I'm having fun. And then halfway through, I realized, oh, wait, I'm just playing dress up right now. <laughs> you know, I'm essentially playing with digital dolls and dressing them up in different things. And I and I stopped playing it for a little while. And it really made me stop and think. It's like, am I bothered by this? Or am I just confused at how I'm feeling right now? And, uh, and it really was. It was just I was confused at how I was feeling and how much fun I was having playing this game. And um, But yeah, it, I think that was really my first experience with an actual questioning of gender roles. See, and, boys uh, can play with dolls too. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, let's face it, boys boys have been playing with dolls for years, mm -hmm. but they call them action figures. Right. We play with dolls. At, yeah. least, uh, at least something good came out of 10-2. Yeah, yeah. No, I think it, I think it probably, yeah. it probably had that effect on many uh, young people at that time as well. Probably. I would like to think. Yeah. I mean, and I'm and I'm sure there's some, you know, really toxic masculine guy out there like, what the fuck am I playing right here? And probably <laughs> threw his PlayStation out the window. But you know, I would like to think that it, it had a good effect on people. So Yeah, read read any gaming magazine around the time that game came out and, and yes, I can guarantee you there were people who felt exactly that way. I will tell you the weirdest game controller of all time came out of Final Fantasy X-2. Because if you got the special edition, you got the PlayStation 2 controller that was split in half, and it was Yuna's dual pistols. Oh, neat. And you had to hold the two, one, one in each hand in order to play the game. And yeah. that's the weirdest game controller ever. And not only... Does, okay, so it's cool that you get a pair of guns or whatever... But like none of the buttons were in the right place. None yeah, of it. They don't connect right. either. Like, yeah. Like if you ever if I, if you ever get a chance to play with it, I would recommend it just to get a, a, an idea of how not to design a controller. <laughs> <laughs> because like I said, none of it felt right. Like you're not. They didn't. Oh no, put it was way worse than the right control. place. Oh yeah, way worse. Yeah, it was. Oh, it was sorry. Bad. Yeah, it was really bad. I, I did like her character, Yuna's character development in 10-2. Like, they actually made her more aware of 
herself, I guess. Like she kind of kinda discovered like herself more. Yeah. She was very princessy, but she this she was like, I'm gonna go on an adventure and find myself and she did. Like she definitely grew up in that game. Yeah. Which that that was good because that also yes. the females were I playing like her that, final that concert helped. though. Like her final concert in that game was pretty badass. Like the yes, graphics on the store was pretty awesome. Yeah, yeah she found herself. Good. She found out that she was somebody else entirely. Yeah. Yeah, like, exactly. Like, oh, yeah, like, I'm not Yuna. I'm this other person. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, she was Yuna, but this other person was also Yuna, but not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, Final Fantasy. Well, she was reincarnation <laughs> of Unalaska, and right. then she wasn't. <laughs> right. Yeah, she found herself all right. She spent that game by herself all right. Yeah. Oh, wait. <laughs> wait. You guys play a different game? I won't with Riku and Ping, you know, finding herself as well. Whoa. Yeah. Where is this game again? I need to play it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure Sid has videotapes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> no, that one is XXX, not XX. <laughs> Different game. <laughs> oh, that's X3, not X2. Sorry. Right. Sorry. <laughs> Different game. At least only in Japan. Man, X. <laughs> But only blurred, because they never show any genitals in Japan. It's always blurred out. The whole game is blurred. X3 was just the worst. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, wait. No, that's our... our, our Nothing but one big blur. One big blur. (laughs) Your favorite summon GF Guardian Force. Who's your favorite? Knights of the Round. Sorry, go ahead. Um, That is pretty awesome. Um, But that's a summon, not a GF. (laughs) Oh, well, said, is there a difference? Yeah, I mean, both. there's a difference. Oh, so, like, she, are you just she, for GF or just for like? She included that, them all. Yeah. All of them. Who's your favorite support character when it comes to not the main party? <laughs> Shit, that's hard. Yeah. There's so many of them. I like that there's constants in some of those, like Ifrit and Rama. Shiva. Okay, I like Rama. He's in some. He's in most of them, not all of them. Yeah. Um. My favorite is Alexander in Nine. I like Alexander. Like the entire castle is a summon itself. Like that was pretty badass. Huh. huh. I'm always partial to Shiva in her uneven titties. Yeah, oh, <laughs> I do like Shiva. Yeah, She's weird. been in quite a few of them. And they naturally they make her titties uneven. Like, and they don't like make them proportional. I like that. Like, it's more realistic. It is. And she's Especially in ass. seven. Her her left hit is so much bigger than her right hit in seven. It is ridiculous. <laughs> I've not noticed. <laughs> um, I'm gonna say my favorite summon is Fat Chocobo. Nice. Yeah, Fat he's Chocobo. pretty awesome. He is cute as shit. <sighs> Fat Chocobo, I'm gonna crush you with Fat Chocobo. <laughs> I like Try little me. creature summons. Try me, bitch. You're going to get crushed. He went on her face so hard. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, I like the tonberries. I like the carbuncle. They're all fun and cute. I still carbuncle want a tonberry plush. Yeah, They're out there. I would love one of those. That would be Tonberries fun. are not cute. They're terrifying. That's why they're cute. I'm oh. saying they're cute and terrifying. Come on now. Mm-hmm. They are. I'm totally, I'm totally going to get a lizard mask and cosplay as a tonberry. Yes. Oh, that'd be awesome. Terrifying. That is I badass. Even, I even have the Tonberry knife. You do? <laughs> Isn't it just a butcher's knife? Well, not a butcher's knife, but um... It's just a little knife. It's a chef's yeah. knife. It's a chef. Thank you. A little stabby, stabby knife. A little stabby, yeah. stabby. Yep, yep. Mm. And I'm sure you have a, a black clo- not a black, brown cloak somewhere. Yeah, I just need to get one of those Gregorian monk clo- uh, uh, Gregorian monk robes. Uh-huh. Like some lantern. Yep. Yep, lantern. Yeah, lantern's going to be the hardest one, but even then, Hobby Lobby, go to Hobby yeah. Lobby. Um, I have a lantern, but it's not the same type of lantern, unfortunately. Can make them. Yeah. It would work if you have a big enough candle. If you uh, if you could cosplay anybody you want from Final Fantasy, if uh, budget were no hurdle, what would you want to cosplay from Final Fantasy? Steffi Roth. Want to touch the hive? <laughs> I I've I've always wanted to do Tifa and Lulu. I also want to cosplay. I could see you as Lulu. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, I definitely want to do Lulu or and or Tifa. I really Back like Renoa too. Yeah, 
Sorry. Like three female. I think I would want to do Igneous. Yeah. I can see you as Igneous. Yeah. I've discovered a new recipe. <laughs> and we know Baron would do a Tonberry. Uh-huh. Yeah, I, I would I'll also I would also love to see you, Baron, as a Moogle. Just a big old Moogle. With a book and everything. Walk around. Moogle. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah, and then you you like like you said, you could just walk around a convention dressed as a Moogle with your book and be like, Can can I save your progress? Mm-hmm. That mm-hmm. would that would be great. Actually, that's one of my favorite things is is coming up with uh, cool and unique ways to get uh, well, like especially like uh, celebrity autographs. But that mm-hmm. would be a great way to just get other people's autographs and stuff, which yeah. would be to have them do a book. But like I had a thing where I was going to get body like toe tags, and I was going to go to like the horror conventions that I used to go to a lot and have the actors sign the toe tags for me. That's cool. Uh, that's yeah. cool. that's a good idea. Oh, that's yeah, I, li- I like that. I like that with the book. They actually have that book on SquareEnix.com merchandise. Like, it's an actual Moogle book. Oh. Mm-hmm. I want it. Mm-hmm. It's a thing. Okay, one one game we haven't touched on right now is 12. I really yeah. liked Final Fantasy 12. I liked 12 a lot. Like, I loved the graphics and the gambits on it. Like, you were, like, yeah. automatically, like have your characters do things for you without having to like okay i have to go in here and do this this and this like and when they redid it they actually opened up the job selection so you can choose your job instead of it being chosen for you like they did and the world of it was so different than the other final fantasies like it was very yes. steampunkish almost yes i yeah. loved it with uh final fantasy 12 and all the gambits i was in the navy when that came out and i had a roommate who was playing Final Fantasy XII, and he would literally grind all night because he would be sitting there sleeping, and uh, and then all of a sudden he would wake up and realize his characters weren't fighting, and he would just reach down to the floor off the edge of his bed and like move the control stick around until he heard them start fighting again, and then he would go back to sleep. Yep, because <laughs> you, your characters are really fighting on their own. Like you don't have to do anything for them as long as you had your gambit set up right, you were good. Mm-hmm. I... You just watched. <laughs> You're watched. Yep. Mm-hmm. It had some really cool characters too. Yeah, they did. Yeah, like, like I, I loved um, Balfour and Fran. I loved Fran them. was my favorite. Yes, I loved Fran. Um, Penelope was a little bit of a eh, but Fran was definitely pretty badass. Yeah, she was. Mm-hmm. I loved her personality too. Like she was badass. <laughs> <laughs> she she was. was like, okay, fine, let's just get it over with. Let's go. <laughs> mm-hmm. Are we going to kill this or not? Like, come yeah, on. Pretty much. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah, she was awesome. But yeah, Penelope was, she reminded me, she had a lot of, like, the Hermione feel to her. Like, the snobby yeah. little, yeah. But, I'm a know it all, but I but think Vaughn really needed her. Like, unless you need healing, I'm just kind of there to just kind of annoy you. Yeah, and whack people with my stick. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, I actually made her, now you can choose what jobs they get. You don't have to actually give them the job they have. And I made her a um, Bushido. Okay. Okay. So now she wacky will with her sword instead of a stick. So <laughs> still not very useful, but <laughs> at least she's more, uh, yeah. She's trying. So what was your first Final Fantasy and what made you decide to pick up the game? Mine was seven. And I just, I don't know, I just picked it up and I started playing it and I fuck, I loved it. Like, I, I loved the way the game developed. I, I really, I love the character lines, the, like, each one has their own story inside of the game. Like, and it really develops pretty well. Like, it's not super hard, but it's enough of a challenge to where you can't just play it through in one night. Like, True. There's a whole world you build. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Tiffany? And you can buy a mansion. Uh, my fate, well, my first, again, was eight. And I, it honestly was my little brother's. Like, it was not my game, but I started I started watching my little brother play games because at that point in time, he was more into gaming than I was. And I was still at the age where I was, I was, my first gaming system was like a Sega. So I was playing, you know, the Disney games and like Toe Jam and Earl and those like cartoony things. Final Fantasy VIII was my first adult game so it was my first game to help me develop into that next stage of my life and I I connected with it like I actually understood what was going on between the characters and from then on I was just hooked into RPGs 
that's another reason I like seven is because like I, I grew up on like Nintendo, Super Nintendo, and then like they came out with this on um um Compact Seven on PlayStation, and I started playing. And I was like, this is like you can actually get involved in the story. Like it's not just like um like a platform game where you're going left to right. Like it's much more in depth and it had a lot more detail to it. Aaron, uh, it's one, uh, the very first one. I was um I really loved the Dragon Warrior series. Mm. And, like, I think that my favorite one out of that was Dragon Warrior 4, I think. It's the one where you can you, you can play, like, different characters through different generations. And, like, I believe like, that is oh, 4. Huh? I believe that is 4. Yeah. Like, the one where you can play the merchant and you're really just, you know, you're being a merchant throughout most of it until you have to go on, like, a little adventure. And then, like, later on in the game, that little town that he was in is a huge city now. So, yeah, that was cool. But I had a Nintendo, and I wanted a game similar to that. So I was just kind of looking around, and we went to a flea market one time, and someone had a game, you know, uh, and I, I it looked very similar. I was like, you know what? Uh, I've never heard anybody talking about this. I think I actually made a discovery. So uh, I went ahead and uh, got it. I loved it. Awesome. I will say my first was also Final Fantasy 1. When I was growing up, I had an NES, or it was more apt to say my mother had an NES. And <laughs> she had, <laughs> had friends who would finish games and then give her those games. And those were the games that I would get to play. And as I was looking through the box of games that had been passed down from her friends, I saw this game called Final Fantasy. And I'll be honest with you, I picked it up and put it in my NES because it had a huge dent in the front of it. Oh. Like, almost as if a gash was missing from the front of the game. And I just wanted to see if it would still work. <laughs> gash. And, and it did. I put it in, the game worked. And then I spent the next however many hours trying to figure out how to play that game because I had never played a game like it before. And it had all been Mario and Kirby and Sonic and stuff like that. So You forgot Zelda. Uh, yeah, Zelda, yeah. Um, <laughs> which is what I thought I was playing was something like Zelda. And then like you get into combat and it's like, wait a minute, what, what is this, what is this menu? So thing? much more in depth, yeah. Um, and then so... I probably spent 90% of the time that I played that game trying to figure out how to get off the first continent. <laughs> Me too. Because I had no idea what I was doing. But by the time I figured out how to get off that first continent, then I was an expert at the game. Oh, yeah. So it's crazy. I blazed through the rest of it, even though the rest of it's way longer than just the first continent. It's Which just... is actually, that's one of the main things I love about that game is because they have that continent. That you can't go anywhere. Mm -hmm. this whole that whole thing is just its own small enclosed game, mm -hmm. and it's a prelude. It's all it is. It's a prelude, mm -hmm. and you, you get that done, and it's like, well, here's a bridge. You go across the bridge, and it's like, oh, oh, this is the beginning of the game. Yep, <laughs> I fucking love it. Mm -hmm. And they don't let you leave until you've really figured out that game. So, like, you know, right? It's... Yeah, if you can't figure it out, you shouldn't move on. Yeah, it's kind of like eight. eight does the you same can't thing. move on. Like eight's the same way. Like you kind of like have that little area where you can't go anywhere until you get to a certain point. And then once you like really figure out how it goes, like if you don't figure out what you're doing first, you're gonna be stuck in the little area by the by the by, by the garden. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. and then until then, like oh, I can go over here and do this and that and over here. And then like oh crap, I can go into this town. Like, like mm -hmm. it really gives it a little bit of a vantage point. Whereas like seven's just like okay, here you go. <laughs> Go. <laughs> yep. <laughs> go and figure it out. Oh, by the way, you can't go back to the city anymore. It's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let me let me take over here real quick. I, I was going to wait for this to come up organically, and it may may have, but I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to start out the next series of questions with a guild decree. Okay. Okay. My guild decree is... Kingdom Heart games are also Final Fantasy games. I agree. Mm. You better because you're in the guild and it's a guild trick. <laughs> I can't. I'm not allowed to fight it. I mean, I would. But like... <laughs> See, without, without even without it being a decree, I still agree. 
I would agree to the first two. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's mm. definitely very, the very, first one. Very <laughs> Final Fantasy heavy. Like, <laughs> Here's being the thing. Disney games, they were very Final Fantasy heavy. Like Final uh, Kingdom Hearts three had no Final Fantasy in it. No, not at all. Okay. There was not a single Final Fantasy character in it. Okay. There was there was no Final Fantasy in that game, and then there was Moogles. That let's was see. Okay. I never played three. Final so. Fantasy one and I'm Final Fantasy yeah. one. Please, you already got me saying it. Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> that Kingdom is the of the guild decree. Kingdom Hearts one had a ton of Final Fantasy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, it was Kingdom great. Hearts two didn't have as much, but still continued the tradition. Mm-hmm. They both had Sephiroth. Almost none of the rest of the games. You say it like there's been 80 Kingdom Hearts games. There was uh, 1.5. 81. 81. <laughs> like, hey, no, there's down. a lot of them. If there's a point, if there's like a like the 1.5, that still counts as one. You're Sorry. right. But there's also 365 over two days, birth by sleep, dream drop distance. Like, don't get me fucking started. Kingdom Hearts 3 was like the 13th game. But you it just said it right there. So to get to 3. You just, you just said it right there. Kingdom Hearts 3 is like 13 games. That means those 13 games are just Kingdom Hearts 3. No, I said Kingdom Hearts 3 was the 13th game. Not uh, that it is 13. Oh, okay. yeah, it took so long three. for them to actually get to 3. They were like 1, 1.5, 2, <laughs> Two and a quarter, two and three fifths, two and a half, (laughs) two one point three A. All of those are remakes. But then there's Kingdom Hearts Coded, Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep, Kingdom Hearts Recoded. Like, well, Recoded once again was a remake, so I'm not even going to count that. Kingdom Hearts, Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories, Kingdom like, like seriously, and they had a card game at one point. So bad, and none of them had any. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let let me let me adjust my guild decree then. One and two. One and two. Just one and two. <laughs> okay. <laughs> then I agree. I'll I take it. Completely I'll agree. Even, I'll even include one point five. I will second the motion. Seven and like all of that, like because they're just remakes of one and two. So yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I'll 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 go for it. <laughs> but if you tell me chain of fucking memories at a Final Fantasy game. You can kiss the nerdiest part of my ass. <laughs> what part is that, Rick? You're gonna the have left to find with out with the little hair on it. I don't know. <laughs> you keep kissing it, I'll tell you where it is. <laughs> oh, you'll know. You'll know. Keep when kissing till you find it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, yeah, so that that'll be my guild decrees. The the first two Kingdom Hearts games are Final Fantasy games. Now, okay, I can agree to that. And the that Final Fantasy said, games I... that have introduced Disney into them. I will say, if you are a Final Fantasy fan, there is a sequence in Kingdom Hearts two that is one of the coolest things, where you're running from from point A to point B, and you keep running into different groups of Heartless as you fight them. And as you run into each group of Heartless, all of a sudden, a different Final Fantasy character will jump down and be like, "I got your back!" And then you're fighting yeah. side by side with that Final Fantasy character. All yeah, from different so Final fun. Fantasies and stuff like that, and like, and then like, you get through that wave, and they're like, "Keep going, I've got the rest of them." And then like, like when Leon comes in, it's fine. He's called Leon, <laughs> Leon in that one. In that game, that I'll accept. I'll yeah. accept that one. <laughs> but you get I to fight side that. by side with Skull, um, Skull Cloud, Tifa, Warren. I mean, like, it's just very cool. Is the second one the one where they start out on the Final Fantasy Island? Or is that the first one? Uh, you mean Destiny Island? Destiny. Right, well, yeah, where the, the Final Fantasy X characters are. That's that's one. Is that one? Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that, that, that was uh, like... I was so confused because I, I didn't realize that... Uh, I didn't realize that Final Fantasy... When I got Kingdom Hearts, I didn't know that Final Fantasy was going to be involved in that. Mm-hmm. So when, I, when that game opened up and I was on that island, I'm like, what the fuck what? is going on? Like, what am I playing? <laughs> right. What is my life right now? And see, yeah, when, I, when Kingdom Hearts first came out, I knew that Final Fantasy was going to be in it, and that's the whole reason I wanted that game. See, I didn't know there was any Final Fantasy in it at all, until so I started playing it, and I was just like, what? In, 
I th- what the what is this? Waka, this is a Disney game. Down. What the hell is Final Fantasy doing in here? Why are you, you here? I'm, Why are I'm you doing? No, like what really confused me is like, okay, Titus, I get Waka, I get. Why are you here? <laughs> uh, so weird. Because like it was like it's like Final Fantasy X character, Final Fantasy X character, Final Fantasy. Who was the other one who was there? Final Fantasy VIII character. Mm-hmm. Hey, was it was selfie. I think it was selfie. Well. selfie. Yeah, it was selfie. And it was like Final Fantasy X character, Final Fantasy X, Final Fantasy VIII character. Wait a minute. Like, not only are we mixing our games, we're mixing our games within our games, and, like, this is getting confusing. <laughs> uh, they had two online games, right? 11 and 13 were both online, weren't they? Or was 11 yeah. and 14? It was 11 and 14. Um, 11 and 14. And 11, Wait, what was 13? 13, oh, okay. With, with lightning and stuff, and lightning and snow. Oh, yeah, because they had 13. Yeah, I didn't like that one. So you had, like, like fill in, like, the bars with their shit. It's, like... You get like a pint and like it, yeah okay that was 13 yeah 13 was not- very handholdy and it was also like there was no there was no very no open world there's yeah. you go yeah, from just- a to point b and once you reach point b you go to point c then you go to point d mm-hmm. and like there is no explore- it was like crisis core but with females because crisis core was not really open map you literally you pick a destination you went to the destination and then went back to where your mission was like you had a mission and that was it like and I feel like thirteen kind of picked off of that, but with female characters because you had um, lightning and. Um, um, well, you had male and female characters because you had lightning and you had snow. And no, you had, and then uh, you lost her little sister and the guy who had the chocobo in his afro. Oh yeah, that dude. Mm-hmm. But I didn't play it long enough to get to him, so I don't know what you're talking about. It's okay if it was. Uh, he's like the second character you meet. Exactly. Um, <laughs> So uh, uh, I literally went through like the first mission and was like, "This sucks." Yes, I <laughs> like, did too. where's my open world map? Like, I'm not doing this. <laughs> the difference was Crisis Core was a little mobile game on a PSP, and like that's acceptable. Final Fantasy 13 is a full on game. You can't Thank you. do that. Yeah. And then no. it got so popular, it got two sequels. Yes. Yeah. Why? Which, what happened there? I don't know. Now, right now, we have fans of 13 screaming at us. Uh, you can add Good. me. Good. I'm screaming on, back. Why? You can add me on Twitter. It's uh, at Caster Guild. Um, but, like, seriously. I don't have a Twitter, or else you, I would yell back at them. <laughs> you can add me, too. 13 sucks so bad, I didn't even play it. Mm. Ah. Damn. I played the first chapter and said, fuck this, and screw it, and <laughs> sauce it. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm done. Yeah. It was so linear. It wasn't even fun. It wasn't Final no. Fantasy. That was not a Final Fantasy game. No. Uh-uh. It's like Final Fantasy Type-O. They, were just, they were not Final Fantasy games. They were just little things they threw out to keep us distracted while they tried to work on something better. And then uh, 14 released once. This is the first MMO. And it was really, really uh, the, bad. Second. It, you... 11 was the first. No, I understand that. But 14 is an entirely different game. And it got released twice. Yes. So here's the thing. So 14 was released the first time. Okay, and it was terrible. It got terrible reviews. Nobody wanted to play it. You had some hardcore Final Fantasy fans who stuck it out anyway. But like, here's the thing: in the first time Final Fantasy 14 was released, in order to accept a quest, you had to walk up to the quest giving NPC, then yep. open a menu, then choose the interaction option, then choose the talk option, then choose the accept quest option. Then they had to talk. Now you have to open another menu. Like, it was terrible. So it was a pain in the ass. They did an entire event where the world ended. Like, they were like, nope, Final Fantasy fourteen is done. This world no longer exists. It was destroyed by this giant monster comet. It's over. Sweet. Then they took a couple months to retool the entire game and make it playable. And then the world reincarnated from a crystal. So they started the. Oh, that's what the crystals are for. That makes sense. Yeah. They tar- started the entire story over again from the start, hit a great big reset button, and they re released the game. It's so, still not that great. No, I mean, I still don't like it, but then again, <laughs> I'm not a huge MMO guy. I mean, like, I'm told yeah. if you are the kind of person who loves MMOs, that like 14 is a pretty good one. Um, I mean, if I have, like, 20,000 people playing it at the same time, yeah, but, like, I don't have a whole bunch of people playing online, so I'm just like, 
uh, MMOs don't really mean much to me because I, yeah, no. I said I tried it, didn't like it, didn't like it. And I like MMOs. I think it'd be easier on PC. I tried it on PS4, and it just, it, it's, the mouse controls are very hard on a PS4. So, like, it's just, it's really not worth it. But um, well, on I PC, mean, I probably wouldn't be too bad. If that was the only thing stopping you, just to let you know, on a PS4, you can USB in a keyboard and a mouse and do the entire control that way on PS4. Uh, yeah, I know. It's just, actually, well, no, my keyboard's not USB. Shit. I can figure it Am out. Am I... Though. Am I the only one who played World of Final Fantasy? No, it wasn't bad. It was. It was cute. It was cute. Yeah. It was like, cute. It was very like mission based though. Like, is that the one you're talking about? Like, um, like. It was um, the twins. It was like the twins who can turn down to chibi and then become full form. It was basically like a Pokemon. Yeah, this this game that Rick's holding up. You had to like go you know, around and play. get the little monsters, and you have to basically use them like Pokemon. Stack them on top of each other and. Okay, and no, use I all their abilities. Yeah. Um, I saw it though, but I didn't play it. It was it was cute. It was fun. You did visit some of the worlds, but it again it didn't really play like a Final Fantasy. It was it was turn based, but you had to use the monsters, or you weren't going to survive. Like you had to utilize these little monsters and go capture them. Okay. Yeah, it was, um, it was very was... Pokemon esque. Yeah, yeah was, there was it... also one that was uh, Final Fantasy Crystal something. Chronicles. Crystal Chronicles. Yes. Crystal Chronicles. Crystal yeah. Chronicles, and it was all just mission based. Like you went to this town, and you went on a mission, and then you once you're done the mission, you went back to town. And like, that's what like thirteen reminded me of. It was very linear. Like you went on a mission, once you were done the mission, you went back to the same place. Like you didn't go anywhere else. There was nothing else to do. It was just literally just go on missions and come back. Like Crystal Chronicles was cool though because it was multiplayer. You could play with up to three of your friends. You could play with four people all at once. Well, I never had anyone to play with, so I always had myself. <laughs> Yeah, that kind of takes away what makes Crystal Chronicles cool. So, I, also I guess the it's like the. Ooh, I could love some of those. I love Chocobos. There was a Chocobo Racers game, and it was, mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure it was like a Mario Kart where you actually got in like little cars. Kind of, yeah. Yeah. That's another reason I like Seven, it's because I had Chocobo Races. Yeah, there was a game like that where it was all Chocobo Races. Yep. And then Nine had a Chocobo Hunt where you could go around with your Chocobo and you could hunt for hidden treasures in the world map like i love games where it actually includes the chocobos like they are awesome they, they are a great part of that series i love chocobos and then seven, it's seven, yeah. seven really did them the best though again i'm yeah. really a fan of i'm really a fan of them taking a uh like a side game like that and then making it a vital part of the of the game like you know yeah, the, the, the tie yeah, ball and could... then yeah yeah, because you could race them, and then you could breed them as well. Because if you didn't breed yeah, them the right way, you can never get right to the round. Because right, you need to exactly. have a gold Togo in order to get knights of the round. Like, right. Or you could beat Ruby, which is next to impossible. And really, let's face it, once you got that gold Chocobo, it's like, literally, you could just do whatever you wanted. Yeah. Uh-huh. Don't forget uh, Theater Rhythm, the Final Fantasy uh, rhythm game, uh, where you got to, to fight enemies to the tunes of classic Final Fantasy uh songs and like you fought them literally to the beat of the music and uh it was oh. super cool uh it was played mostly with the stylus on the 3ds it also had a great big following in arcades in japan i so, have a 3ds but i don't have a stylus for it anymore <laughs> well you can buy the, any stylus will work <laughs> well my cat kind of took it out of my 3ds and then chewed it up and ate it got it mm. <laughs> so i haven't replaced it yet but i have a 3ds i just haven't replaced the stylus on it and then there's also uh the dissidia series yeah that was good dissidia started on the the psp and eventually made its way to home consoles and it was essentially a final fantasy fighting game you picked from a hero or villain from different series put yourself together a little team and did three on three fights that were real time that was super cool i downloaded it for ps4 but then never played it you should. Mm. It's definitely worth a try. I will it's, say again, that probably not download a it and then, game. Yeah, I should probably play it the next time I download it instead of just being like, mm, I, I need room for this. The PS4 <laughs> version of that game is much more complicated than the PSP version, of course, because it's a full console game. Um, but it's it's still got a lot of action in it. And I mean, like, if you just want to beat 
Squall's ass as Cloud, then that's the only place you can do it. So, yeah, the only place. <laughs> no, no, because we all know. <laughs> Cloud would kick his ass. It? No, Omni no. Slash. I'm sorry. He'd be too busy crying. No. <laughs> oh, oh. No. 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 <laughs> And that's why it's the best game ever. <laughs> and, and, and really, and, and that's fine. Kane would be all about letting the kids play in the backyard and up on each other all they want. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> I wouldn't... No. <laughs> okay, there we go. There, good. Okay, good. <laughs> it's like, it almost looked like you were about to be like, well, maybe. It was like, well, no, no. I said this to be... You know, uh, com- combative here. Let's just let. <laughs> Don't cross over to my line. You stay on your side of the line. We're going to have a good fight here. <laughs> well, at this point, there's three lines. Which line do we not cross? Oh, yeah. Dang. Overkill. <laughs> cross them all. <laughs> I mean, technically, they all cross in the middle, but that's beside the point. Omni slashed right through all them lines. Thank you. <laughs> That's what I said. <laughs> she disagreed. No, no. I, th- the only squall that I really liked was in Advent Children. That's the only squall I liked. Squall was in Advent squall? Children. I'm sorry, no. not squall. Cloud, cloud. I'm sorry, cloud. <laughs> oh, I was <laughs> right. I was like, squall was <laughs> not in that movie. <laughs> no, he's not. Absolutely not in that movie. I wish they would make a movie of eight. That's great. But no, cloud. Well, cloud. they made the a movie of seven because it's better. No, they had to explain some stuff. <laughs> Seven's true. good. I'm not. I'm not arguing. Seven is that. Seven <laughs> is a good game. They didn't need a lot of explanation how it ended, though. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Seven has a whole ex- extended universe. You've got Final Fantasy yeah. Seven, and then you've got Crisis Core, and then you've got Advent Children, and then you've got uh, God, what was Vincent's game called? Oh, he did have his own um, spinoff, he didn't did. he? Dur- Dirge of Cerberus. Dirge of Cerberus. Dirge of Cerberus. Yeah. yeah. That was a good um, one. I almost yeah, forgot about that. Game. That was a really good game. I like that game because you got to find out a whole lot more about Kate Sith in that game. And like well, yeah, you get a lot of love in seven. And Vincent was a surprisingly good Edgelord character too. Because like, you know, you would you would think, oh, only the Edgelords are gonna like this character. And it's like, oh wait a minute, he's actually a decent character. So yeah, he turned out to be pretty fun. He wasn't really good until he got his last limit break though. His first three were kind of like, eh, but his last limit break was definitely the best. I mean he was just a good character. He was a good character. Yeah. I just only like you can't control him when he's in his limit breaks. Like that bugged me a little bit. But other than that, pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Advent children. Good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> good stuff. Yes. Yeah, I also my like favorite character. character I also like Final Fantasy Spirits Within. Like I know it's not really attached to any of the movies and, or any of the games, but it was a good like spinoff movie itself. Like it wasn't great, but it definitely like had its own like novelty to it like it did yeah i'm i'm happy that you enjoyed it right again it doesn't did not it doesn't feel need, like a final like, fantasy yeah it doesn't need adoration it just needed mentioning it, it's Valid. funny you, okay it, it's funny you say that rick i i find myself saying that an awful lot <laughs> <laughs> i'm glad it's like the most condescending but polite thing you could ever say to someone i'm glad you enjoyed it <laughs> like it really does not need an era, but like it exists and it's part of the final fantasy universe so I mean, uh, things like beyond that, that like, it just needs to be mentioned <laughs> like when i tell people i like dungeons and dragons fourth edition people are like oh i'm, I'm happy you liked it <laughs> yeah yeah it's like oh bless your soul <laughs> oh hell i i have a friend that doesn't even say that he hates it so much so oh yeah <laughs> a lot of people really hated fourth edition no, is it you are it. you the friend i'm that friend i <laughs> anyway final fantasy we right. <laughs> <laughs> getting off topic a little bit no, i felt a tangent rising so let's let's welcome <laughs> welcome to casters guild leo it's called the off topic the podcast <laughs> yeah i'm fine with that <laughs> There was a. There was also what was it? It was Final Fantasy Unlimited. There was a anime series that was out, mm-hmm. and I only I had the first two DVDs, and it was it was okay. I wanted to watch the rest of it, but I I I don't know what happened to it. It's gone. 
it's gone. But it reminded me a lot of Final Fantasy, the, the other game that I mentioned earlier. What was it? The World of Final Fantasy. It reminded me a lot of that. It was two little blonde-haired twins, and they were doing their thing. But that the anime style was different, a lot different. It was very right. rounded and cutesy. Mm-hmm. I also may have been the only one who saw that. I haven't no. seen it. Uh, another Final Fantasy game I liked is um, Brave Exvius, um for the mobile. Um, it was a really, it wasn't too intricate, but like you, you could check your, pick your jobs, White Mage, Dark Mage, Knight, Onion Knight, like you can go through all of the class ranges. And like the graphics are actually pretty decent for like a hand, like um, an actual phone game. Like in, it didn't really have a storyline that fit all of the other ones, but it, it still played on all the characters and had a depth of Final Fantasy that would be relatable to the games themselves. But it didn't actually go off of any other game. Like it just was its own little world. But it was You could also play kinda... as Ariana Grande. Huh? You could also play as Ariana Grande. Oh uh, yeah, they they do that as well. <laughs> um <laughs> Oh yeah, that was a thing. <laughs> <laughs> But like they brought a lot of Final Fantasy games into it, and it's like I really liked it, but like it was just weird. Yeah, it was a very weird game. Like the moment I was like, "What?" The moment I saw Ariana Grande on the character list, I'm like, "What? What is this game? Why?" Yeah, I was like, "I don't think I want to. I, I don't think I want to do this anymore." <laughs> <laughs> what? What just happened? I don't know. I'm scared. <laughs> is it Ariana Grande? Did you hear us? Oh God! <laughs> oh God! Run! It's Ariana. <laughs> Oh no! she's <laughs> grande. Say, and Keeper wasn't bad either. <laughs> not, not, not... <laughs> Final Fantasy <laughs> Record Keeper was wasn't timing. bad. Not, not Ariana Grande Record Keeper. <laughs> I'm not familiar with that one. Record uh, it's, Yeah, it's a weird one. It's not. It's Google Play Store one. Like um. I played it for a while. It was pretty good, but like, it kind of didn't really have any like end point to it. Like it was just like, oh, and you keep going and going, and there's no stop. It's just like, yeah, it's a mobile. It's a mobile. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. yeah. Something keeps busy. Got it. Okay. At first, it was great, and then it just kind of went downhill. <laughs> it's nice to see Final Fantasy still going after all of these years and still coming out with new games and new concepts and them not being afraid to try new things with each new game. Like um, Before we end, um, I, I, I want to touch on the Final Fantasy VII remake. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, was, I was scared for Final Fantasy for a minute with, with the 13s, when they came out with 13 and then 13-2 and then 13-3. Um, and it was because they were working on... 15 for so long yeah but I'm, I'm glad they're still coming out with new games and new ideas but i was just really mad at the fact that they remade final fantasy 7 and you never leave midgard it's they're coming done. yeah they're not done it's coming that was just oh, no, 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 part done. one of them, like, like why like like if you're gonna make a final fantasy remake and it took them so long to do this like they literally focused on making every detail perfect and I get it. Like, I love the graphics in Final Fantasy VII Remake. Like, they are explicit. Like, they are amazing. Or not explicit. Explicit. Sorry. Um, <laughs> and it's just great. Like, they're so detailed and very lifelike. But at the same point, the storyline is so short because they spent so much time on the graphics. And, like, I would have had a little less graphics and a little more story. Like, at least myself like he's like final fantasy 7 like they literally touched on just the first city there's an entire world multiple couple continents like they haven't even touched on like here's the thing and it's all excuses that i'm gonna give you okay i know they are (laughs) but i think they're all valid okay first things first everyone should have an asshole yes the remake (laughs) got scrapped so many times and they started over so At least six or seven, yeah. Like they tried to do it on the PlayStation 2 and had to start over. They tried to do it on the PlayStation 3 and had to start over. 
They started it over three times for the PlayStation 4 before they finally caught traction. So, like, they weren't working on this version of it for as long as people think they were. Like, for what they pumped out in the time they were actually working on it, it's pretty impressive. Number two, they did a lot of research. And they found out that half of the people asking for a remake of this game never got past Midgar anyway when they played the original game. So... So not for a remake, remake if you ever played the actual game. Uh, well, people fell in love with that part of the game. They like you know they're like it's it's the 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 Midgar part of the game. Like if you if you ask that wasn't even the best part of the game. A lot of if you ask a lot of people who played that game who even call it their favorite game, they'll talk about uh, the escape from the Mako reactor. They'll talk about the scene where Cloud cross dresses. They'll talk about all this stuff that all happened in Midgar. Now, don't get me wrong. There's plenty of hardcore fans that played through the entire game that got past the Golden Saucer and all that good, all that fun stuff, but there's a lot of people who didn't. So when they decided they were going to make a remake, they're like, we're going to do this in two parts. The people who just wanted Midgar can just buy this one game and it'll be this full experience, even though it's just the parts of the game that they remember. And and. Now everyone who wants to play the rest of the game can get part two and we'll spend just as much time Three and four and five and six as well because they're probably going to do it in sections and just because some asshole doesn't want to play the entire game doesn't mean I should have to pay six times as much because they only want to play one part. Yeah, just wait until they're like 15 bucks a piece and then go buy them. I don't want to wait that long. (laughs) I'll be be 80 by the time that happens. Like (laughs) The pace they're going. (laughs) Like I said, it was all excuses, but in my opinion, pretty valid excuses. I mean, it does make sense, but at the same point, I'm just like, I, I, I'm not going to pay an extra $80 per edition just because some idiot didn't know how to actually play through the frame the first time. Spoken like a true fan. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and hopefully they won't Kingdom Hearts 3 it, where we waited, what, 15 years for the third one, and we were so excited! And then it comes out, and it is literal- It's nothing. Yep, it's just like, oh. Honestly, with the backlash they got in re- of releasing it in multiple parts, when, when people found out that it was just like a part one and just Midgar, I highly doubt they'll do more than a part two. Like, I think they'll work on jam-packing everything else into part two as it should have been from the start, and I think that'll be it. Hopefully. Yeah. If they cater to their fans. Yeah. Which, usually they try to, but sometimes they get a little off. I mean, like the whole the, the whole thing. If if they didn't weren't trying to cater to their fans, I don't think they ever would have even made a Final Fantasy VII remake. Like, yeah, the reason like, Final Fantasy has this great big expanded universe, and why there's a Final Fantasy VII remake is because fans are asking for it. Like, to be honest with you, nobody else in that company wanted to continue to work on that game after it was done. They were like, Final Fantasy VII, it's done, it's over, and then everybody was like, it's the best game ever. So yeah. then they were like, oh, let's make something better. Yeah, let, they were like, we need to like actually like expand on this. Because then they were like, oh, here's eight. And everybody was like, it's not more seven. And then they were like, oh, here's right, nine. eight. They were like, it's not more seven. And then they were like, fine, here's some more seven. Here's, here's Crisis Core. Here's Dirge of Cerberus. Here's yep. Advent Children. And then everybody's like, this is more, more seven, seven. But it's yeah, not more seven. seven. They're like, this, this is I mean, more 7, but it's not 7. Can we get an HD remake of 7? And then people have been asking for that forever. So, yeah, I think if it wasn't for the fact that everybody keeps asking, where is it? And they fucked themselves over with the tech demo for the PlayStation 3. They all, they made a tech demo for PlayStation 3 just to show how good the graphics could be on a PlayStation 3 by remaking the intro to Final Fantasy 7. And that's all they had plans to do. It was just supposed to be a tech demo. They never had plans to remake the game. And then everybody and everyone was, wanted this um, game. Yes. And <laughs> they were like, no, it's just a tech demo. And they were like, no, you're making this game. Well, you're also, if you go from the graphics on 7 to 8 and to 9, like... Completely like, different. Obviously, they want to remake the game for 7 to, like, at least match the graphics. Like, they went too hard on the graphics. And, like, okay, well, we want the story, too. We don't want just better graphics. Like... Yeah, but, I mean, you can't make everyone happy either. So like, you, they try to like start in the middle and then work from there. Like, which I also get. So, yeah, I'm honestly 
we bought Final Fantasy VII the remake just because I I couldn't see us not buying it, but neither of us have played it yet. Because I played it. When it comes to Final Fantasy, D, I'm I'm not looking for another remake. I'm waiting to see. I'm I've played seven. I'm done with seven. I don't want to play seven again, even if it is a remake. I'm ready for Final Fantasy sixteen. I'm ready to see what what next is coming down the pike. And because that's what one of the things I love about Final Fantasy is like every game is a different game. It's Something not new. I don't want to play 10 2. I don't want to play 13 2. I don't want to play uh, I didn't play 13, so I'm not gonna play 13 2. So yeah. I don't want to play some Final Fantasy 8 side story where we find out uh what Squall was like when he was seven. Like I don't I, I, I do. Don't, I know you do. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I want. Give me the next. Yeah, I want to see Cypher's side story. Yeah, I. It's give part me of the, Give me the next story now. Give me the next. Give me sixteen. Throw everything else away. Start over again. Throw everything away except the chocobos. You know, like don't forget the Moogles. And and give me the next game. That's what I want. Understandable. Just keep doing what you were doing. Stop trying to appease the fans. Like appease me, the fan, not. <laughs> fans <laughs> but no appease me the fan not the fan yeah, exactly. <laughs> so you're not gonna make everyone happy so like i mean they're trying to do both at the same time but like i think they're just trying to do too much at one time because like they were also working on final fantasy 7 remake when they were doing 15 and at the same time they were doing both and it's just like i feel like they were just too focused on too many different things at the same time instead of putting focus on one thing and making it a complete thing Yep. If that makes sense. So don't give me another MMO. Don't give me another no. sequel. Don't give me no. another side story or spinoff. Give me 16. I either finish 7 remake or give me 16. Other than that, I, I'm I'm good. <laughs> if I want to play them again, I can go back and play them. Other than that, something new or finish what you already started. Or stop. <laughs> the way I, there, I, the way there's going to be a point in time where they have to be done. Why? Because it's Final Fantasy, like you can only do so much until it just gets. It's going to start to get repetitive, you can and, or until it be, doesn't be true. But it, at some point, it's going to stop being Final Fantasy. It's going to stop feeling like a Final Fantasy. You got to be the never-ending fantasy. Ooh, like that'll, that'll, be, that'll be ironically the last Final Fantasy game. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> I was just thinking Final Fantasy, <laughs> Final fantasy the never-ending fantasy. And it'll be an MMO that, like just like tanks and lasts oh, like Oh no. Before they shut that'll that That'll kill forever. Square Enix. Yeah. Uh, that'll yeah. kill them. The Final Fantasy is the never ending fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> I think I would like to use my guild decree. Go for it. You ran out of time, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so my guild decree is <laughs> You have no more time. <laughs> <laughs> The, the Moogle, so there's different types of Moogles. There's all different versions of Moogles, but it's still right. a Moogle. I'm going to say that the, the since Kingdom Hearts is now part of the Final Fantasy world, that You're the welcome. Moogle, thank you, thank you. The Moogle in Kingdom Hearts is the best version of a Moogle. See? Cool. You see that? My yeah. guild decree helped your guild decree. You're the, welcome. The one and only time. Thank you, Baron. And I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and base my guild decree off that little rant I just had, and <laughs> say uh, I'll say no Final Fantasy sequel or prequel or spinoff will ever be as good as the mainline games. Guild decree. Okay. All right. That works for me. Well, just like the games, you know, uh, we we are bringing this uh, final Final Fantasy podcast to a close i'm sure that there will be many more in the future just on final fantasy <laughs> <laughs> and uh and i'm pretty sure that with the with the as long as this series has been going on we are going to have years and years of content that we could do just on this game so i'm um, looking forward to future games all of them better be Part of that main line because we all know now that none of them are good if they're not in that main line and um, <laughs> and um I'm, i will always look forward to the next final adventure 
So thanks for, for tuning in. Uh, make sure to check us out on Twitch, uh, twitch.tv slash guildtrain. Um, we're also looking into streaming on YouTube pretty soon, so uh, keep an eye out for that. We, we are? Us. Yes. Uh, you can email us at castersguild at gmail.com with your questions, concerns, angry rants, and <laughs> podcast ideas. And uh, if you send us something, there's a good chance we'll do a whole podcast based off of it. So send in your stuff. Check us out for our Extra Life 24-hour stream coming up. Uh, links in the description down below. And Leo, if anybody liked what you had to say tonight, where can they find you on the internet? Uh, Most of on Facebook, uh, Leo Coakley. Other than that, um, good poll. Have a good night. All right. <laughs> and uh, make sure to check out uh, Baron's new YouTube channel description down below. He recently did a Halloween special that was awesome. So thanks for listening, everybody. Tune in next time. And we'll be seeing you. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Bye.